Hey, welcome back to my messy to minimal journey, where today I am going to be tackling this real life mess right here in my kids' messy room. As you can see, it is a complete disaster, and I definitely need to get this cleaned up. I have been super overwhelmed by this mess, having high anxiety, and really didn't know how to get started. But for me, today's the day I have to tackle this complete disaster and finally get this messy room cleaned up. So if you too have been overwhelmed by the mess in your kid's room and you just don't know how to get started, then this real life complete disaster messy room cleanup is definitely for you. So let me help motivate you to get started on your complete disaster messy room cleanup right now. Let's get started cleaning the mess. So how do you get started cleaning the mess? You just get up, you grab that item, you put it where it needs to go, you come back to the mess and you do it again. Eventually that momentum kicks in and then you're gonna develop a plan of action that's gonna take you through the mess and before you know it, you're gonna be cleaning the mess. So if you got up and you started cleaning right along with me, then you're already making progress. Keep going. I'd like to thank Care of for sponsoring today's video. Care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins right to your door every month making it super convenient to stay on track with your health goals and gives that peace of mind knowing that your vitamins will always be there when you need to take them. With the subscription service, I never have to worry about forgetting to order my vitamins. And you know, mom life tends to make us very forgetful. So knowing that my vitamins are going to be ordered and shipped automatically every month really helps to keep me on track with my health goals, especially during the colder months. The way it works is really cool and super easy. Easy. Basically, you go to their website, which by the way, is different from the name of their brand. It is actually takecareof.com. You will take a short in-depth quiz about health goals and your current health status. Then you'll be given personal recommendations of the specific vitamins that will fit your needs based on your answers of the quiz. Care of also provides tailored guidance that evolves with you as you age and your goals and needs change. This allows you to retake the quiz and get new personalized recommendations at that time. I really love this. It's like having my own vitamin specialist whenever I need. I also have a sensitive stomach that requires being very selective when it comes to choosing my vitamin brand. Quality and purity is important to me. With Care of, I know I am getting clean ingredients that I can trust to put in my body and feel good about it. I also love the convenience of their personalized vitamin packs. I'm such a sucker for packaging. I no longer have to worry about shuffling through all the different vitamin bottles to find my daily vitamins. And best of all, the packaging is so minimal. And you guys know I'm on my minimalism journey here, so I'm always looking to free up space in my home and care of packaging really keeps everything neat and tidy and reduces having to store all of those bottles of vitamins because all the vitamins are stored in one little package. And they also add inspirational quotes right on the package so you can read something inspirational or motivational every morning when you take your vitamins. I also love that the packaging is plant-based and compostable. So you have clean ingredients, not only for you, but for the earth too. As a mama, I am constantly on the move. And by the end of the day, I typically feel like I've ran a marathon. I am struggling with high stress, low energy, and brain fog. So one of the supplements recommended for my health plan was rhodiola. It is an adaptogenic herb that helps the body adapt to stress in a healthy way. It's also great for endurance, the marathon mamas, and recovery after physical activity. So as you can see, it totally fits my needs. Another supplement included in my care of plan is astaxanthin, which is a powerful antioxidant that helps to protect my skin. And being high stressed and in my mid 40s, I really need to focus on my skincare. So astaxanthin is the perfect fit to meet these health goals. These are just a couple of all the many great recommendations I have been given in my care of plan. And I am loving this. I am really looking forward to all the health benefits to come. So as you can see with Care Of, there are many benefits to creating your own personalized health plan. So visit the link in the description box to take the quiz and find out what's recommended for you. Be sure to use my code MIGHTYMAMA for 50% off your first order. So here I am taking full advantage of that momentum that has finally kicked in. And it's really helped me to figure out like how I'm gonna clean this mess 
So basically, I started with removing any linens and clothing, like hanging up any clean clothes that were just hanging around, any pillows and things like that I removed out of the room. You are going to see me removing a lot of things out of this room because I'm actually prepping this room for the upcoming room makeover. We are going to be merging both kids into this bedroom. So my little guy, Jack, is going to share with Kendall. We only have three bedrooms in the house, so this is all we have to work with. And I figured it's still okay. They're still young and they can share a bedroom together. It's perfectly fine until we find a solution down the road. Hopefully that will be a new house, but it's gonna take a lot of prayers for that to happen. <laughs> so really I have no method to this madness. I'm just kind of like throwing all the trash away as I see it, um, sorting different items into different piles. So for instance, like any type of art supplies I'll put into one little pile, any baby dolls in another, um, you know, dirty clothes into the basket, like I said, and then any baby clothes into another pile, maybe little toy figurines and things like that. I'll put aside into another pile, but I'm basically just trying to work my way from the top of the pile down to the bottom. I'm basically just trying to clean my way out of this mess, but also trying to do it in an organized systematic way so that I, you know, am not just sitting here amongst a bunch of random toys and items and objects just thrown all over the place. So the best way I know how to do that is to develop those different categories like I talked about. So you'll see over here, I switched sides of the room and now I'm working with these bins that we had for like a cubicle that was in here originally. And um, everything was just kind of like randomly thrown in. So I decided to just go ahead and empty out the bins all together. And now I am going to be using these bins to, you know, contain those different categories that I talked about. And this is just like the quickest way to be able to clean up such a huge, complete disaster like this one where you have so many items that are just, you know, spread throughout the space you really need to work with some sort of like bins or boxes and you know some sort of containers so that you can contain the items as you are cleaning otherwise you're just going to be pushing the items from one side of the room to the other and you're never going to get through the mess so whatever you have even if it's a box or you know a drawer or something anything that you can come up with that you can empty out and then you can you know categorize the different groups of the items in the room. This way you're actually clearing the space, you're getting everything removed from the floor, and um, then it's going to make the decluttering process much quicker and smoother in the end. Now again, I'm not gonna be decluttering in this video, but everything that I do put into these bins, I will be decluttering in an upcoming video, and that is going to be in my toy declutter video that I have coming for you guys. I know I talked about doing a toy declutter video many times, and my intention was to do that before Christmas, um, because obviously, you know, you're going to get an influx of new things from family members and Christmas gifts and all that because of the holiday. So I really wanted to go into Christmas with all the toys decluttered. But if you guys have been with me since the holidays, then you guys know that just was not my reality. And with everything I had going on, there was no way I could squeeze in the toy declutter. But hang in there. We're going to declutter these toys. You guys know I have a lot to get rid of and um, it's time. We're going to do it. That's what this messy to minimal journey is all about and we're going to get rid of stuff. So hang in there. It's coming your way because you guys know we have a lot of stuff and my overall goal for this bedroom is to make sure that I create homes for all the toys that my kids are going to keep and play with. I no longer want to have to store any toys down in my living room or any other parts of the house. Um, we still are most likely going to have that little section behind our couch for the kids to play with their kitchen and things like that because those are larger items and I really don't want to clutter this room, but 
I don't know, I'm going to have to wait and see once the makeover is done to see what space I'm working with when it comes to that. Also, my daughter does want the Barbie house put back up. We have a nice old school, like wooden Barbie house. And I promised her that I would put it up with the room makeover. And so that's why you will see I am going to be sorting through like all the nitty gritty stuff in this pile that's at the very bottom. And it's all those little tiny things that like most of you moms always message me and tell me like you would have just swept it up and threw it away. I don't know what it is. I just cannot find the heart to throw this stuff away because I know that there's good stuff in it, even though it's like just a bunch of stuff and it's messy and it's cluttered. This is all the little tiny Barbie items that my daughter's going to play with. So I did decide to take the time to sort through every single nook and cranny of these toys and pull out the things that I know can go with all her Barbie stuff. And actually one of the bins is designated for only Barbie items. So she's really excited for that. And of course, you know, there's probably going to be some new things that she's going to want to get for it. But I'm all good with that as long as my daughter is playing with Barbies and, you know, she isn't doing any other stuff. I'll get her any Barbie stuff she wants. Okay. You hear what I'm saying? But I'm trying to avoid having to spend that money by, you know, being able to really work with what we do have. And she does have a ton of Barbie stuff and it's all in the bottom of this pile and all the little stuff I'm going to sort through. So for those of you who are probably going to tell me in the comments, like, how could you even waste your time with that? That is why I feel it's worth it in the long run. And I had the time to work with this and do this project because I started it on a Friday and so my husband was home for the weekend and that is why I was able to do that um, and take my time with it and I highly encourage you to like start big complete disaster messes like on a Friday where you know that the weekend will be there and you'll have somebody home whether it's your spouse or significant other or partner or friend that will be available to take the kids and you know keep them busy so then you can focus like a hundred percent on cleaning up the mess without any distractions it really does you know just help keep up the momentum and keep the motivation of wanting to get it done otherwise you put kids in the mix and you are going to become super overwhelmed and <laughs> probably not going to want to continue cleaning the mess so whenever you guys see me doing these complete disaster videos, like definitely it's happening on a weekend where my husband's home and he's with the kids. So that is like his way of helping me, you know, and he does help me a lot on the weekends. Monday through Friday, he has to work. That's just the way it is, even though I work too. And, you know, my homemaking work that I have to do as well and my motherhood work, we both work. That's what it is. You know, he has his work, which is outside of the home and it's pretty far from the house. So, you know, the commute takes up time. And by the end of the day, he's tired. He does help me with dinner and things like that. So, you know, I do get help from my family. I know a lot of you guys, like I said, you come from a good place to, you know, be concerned for me. But this is just the way our family works and I'm the cleaner and that's just how it works. I'm the cleaning lady. I'm going to try to start teaching my kids how to do it more and I know that's going to help me out. And you know, we all just do the best we can and we all do what works for our own families and that's all we can do. But again, I know you guys all are coming from a good place and you guys are looking out for me and I appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate all of you and you being here for me. You all motivate me to keep going and keep cleaning the messes and keep trying to, you know, be a better homemaker and take back control of the mess in my home. It's because of you that I show up here and it motivates me to clean those spaces in my home and bring you guys these videos. We really do work together as a team. Not only am I here to motivate you and help you, but you guys do the same for me. So again, I just want to like let you guys know how much I appreciate all of you and how grateful I am to all of you for taking the time out in your day to spend it here with me. It makes doing these videos totally worthwhile and honestly it's not easy for me to do these videos in my messy mama life 
but I love it. I love being here for you guys. That is exactly why I'm here. I am here because I wanted to help others. That is what drove me to start my channel. I was called upon by God and that's what I'm doing. I'm doing God's work being here for those of you who, you know, need that help to know that you are not alone in the struggle of cleaning house while living with anxiety and depression and, you know, just need that moral support because maybe you're just a stay-at-home mom who's lonely and you just feel like, you know, you spend all your time alone at home with the kids and you need that adult conversation so you can throw me on your TV and you can listen to me talk and it just helps, you know, get you through your day. That is what I'm here for because I know I feel like that sometimes too. And I remember the days with my little babies. I always felt so lonely. I, you know, moved so far out from friends and family and, you know, everything changed when I made that move. But I did the move for my children's futures and I am happy I did. It's just, you know, it's a lonely life. Motherhood is lonely. I will say that. I never knew how lonely motherhood could be. And it's just crazy because we're always constantly surrounded by our kids or our child who constantly needs from us and requires attention in all the things. So it's so ironic, like how lonely we can still feel, even though we're surrounded by so much love and attention and you know clinginess all day so I just wanted to kind of like throw that out there for you mamas who are you know staying at home and you're doing this motherhood motherhood is the toughest hood I've ever lived in and I've lived in a I lived in a hood okay so that I need to make a shirt like that actually I'm gonna have to make a shirt like that <laughs> but yeah so I just wanted to point that out give yourself a pat on the back you're doing a great job and just know I'm always here for you when you need it, when you need that push, when you need that talk, when you just need that friend or you need that motivation. So I have, you know, talked a lot. You guys know I love talking with you guys because that's, you know, part of my loneliness. Like I don't get any adult conversation during the day. So when I do these videos and these voiceovers, it just feels so good. It's like I'm hanging out, talking with you, my friends, and it just feels so good. It's therapy. So thank you for always hearing me all the way through. And for those of you who just want to hear the music, thank you for just still keeping me on your TV and playing your own music and, you know, just still cleaning along with me. Um, however you hang with me, I appreciate it. And thank you just for being here for me. So with that being said, I'm going to play music. I'm going to let you guys jam out and, you know, get more into your cleaning groove and more than likely, we're going to finish out this video with music today. Um, I may chime in a couple of times if there's anything important I think I want to share with you guys. But I really hope that this real life complete disaster messy room cleanup is getting you up on your feet and cleaning right along with me. I hope that I was able to motivate you to at least get started cleaning the mess because that's the hardest part. So if you got up and you started cleaning the mess, then you should feel so good about yourself. Keep on going, push through as long as you can and take advantage of that momentum and that motivation and just keep cleaning your way through the mess.
not gonna stress, not gonna make a mess. Oh, no, I You don't have to be smart No need to dress up For me to see That you're a good man You're a good man A real good man When the wind blows Okay, so I just wanted to chime in and let you guys know that I love working with tools. I love power tools. I am a very handy gal. Um, my dad is the jack of all trades. I grew up around home construction. Both him and my grandpa always, you know, remodeled different spaces in my grandma's home. And I always loved watching and I also loved helping when I was little. So, you know, I knew how to work a hand tool like from the young age of eight and I just love it. So with the upcoming home makeovers, you guys will see that I will be doing most of the work. However, you know, depending on the situation and if I have the, however, depending on the time of the day and when I do the project, if my husband is home, I always ask for help. I always try to, you know, 
let him help me with something just to let the project go by much faster. But I really just wanted to let you guys know that moving forward because you guys are going to be seeing me do most of the home projects. And and I know I'm going to get those comments that are like, where is your husband? Why isn't he helping? Let's just say that it's okay for girls to work with tools too. <laughs> and let's just leave it at that. Tiger, call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher, above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right, go right in, I want to fall. That old yet I'm far too young to not stand my ground. But my ways are mine and I don't want to change. Not even for love. Now take back.
So here is my daughter's desk and if you guys have been around you know that she is a diehard crafter and so you know I just let her have at it when it comes to doing crafts and you know becoming artistic here at her desk space um, and everything from like stickers, tape, dried up paint, glue is going to be found here on this desktop. So I have a lot of scrubbing to do and I want to clean it all up because I actually have different plans now for this desk. I'm going to be taking this into my room and you guys will see that in an upcoming makeover, but I'm going to give both of the kids something totally different to have like a table desktop uh, to work on certain arts and crafts in the room but in the end of it all i actually want to create a crafting space down in the basement so i don't have to worry so much about the mess or any walls or furniture getting messed up from any type of crafting or slime or whatever they want to do and you know i feel like it's important for me to allow my kids to express their creativity and really just dig deep into their artistic self because when I was little, I didn't have my own room. We lived with my grandma and my sister and I shared a room. So it really wasn't our room. We had a lot of rules. It was very strict growing up in that house. So we weren't able to express our creativity at all in the house. And so let's just say I chose to do it outside of the house in not so good ways. So I want to prevent that with my kids and I want to allow a safe space for them to, you know, express their creativity at home and just feel safe about being themselves here at home. A mess on a tabletop or a wall or a floor can easily be cleaned up but a mess internally inside your heart and mind, that's a whole other story. So you know what, say what you will. I feel like it's important that we let our kids express their creativity at home. And even if that means letting them make a mess, Like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers
So now I'm just removing like everything from the walls, from the furniture, every single item out of the space just to start off with a clean slate once I begin the room makeover. And I also am going to go around the walls and scrub off any dirt or any kind of markings so that it's easier to paint over. And I wanted to show you guys how I couldn't find it in my heart to cover up my daughter's little artwork that she drew on the wall and her, you know, little name. Call it the hoarder in me, but I even struggle with painting over scribbles and artwork from my kids on the wall. So I decided to preserve it here in this video so I will have it forever and always to look back on. <laughs> the struggle is real, you guys. Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we, we only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your way. Let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down time on fake friends i just want to get high i just want to get high i just want to get higher sometimes people will try to hold you back from being who you want to don't be questioning why do whatever feels right find your passion and fight because we only got one chance and got one life to live and it's do or die gotta make it count so lose your worries let your problems go on until my whole body burns out I ain't never gonna slow down So at the end of editing, I realized I never did film like a panoramic view of what the room looked like after the cleanup. So I decided to just kind of give you guys a recap of what the room looked like before cleaning it up. And as you can see, it was a complete disaster, just a total hot mess. Everything you could think of was just all over the floor. There was stuff all over the furniture pieces, the bookshelves, everything was just filled and it was just so cluttered and messy. And this messy room definitely needed a serious cleanup. And so now I'm gonna share with you the progress I made throughout the cleanup of this messy room. As you can see, I was able to clear everything off of the floors. I sorted and organized all the items into different bins for a later declutter. I was able to clear everything off of the furniture pieces as well as clear everything out of the rooms and off of the walls and give everything a really good wipe down and clean up and vacuum. Also, the kids are loving this temporary sleeping arrangement until we get the new beds and do the room makeover. And I'm so happy to say that we are finally done nursing and this is making the new sleeping routine go much smoother. So I really hope that this real life complete disaster messy room cleanup brought you guys that real life cleanup motivation to get your messy room cleaned up right along with me and keep you moving along on this messy to minimal journey together. For now, I'm gonna say stay mighty and God bless and I'll be back with another one. Mm -hmm.